Last time, the Creeper truck did quite a good job beating both cars in the race to eliminate even the victor from the team. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. And this time, with the Batmobiles involved, it might be a little more difficult for the Creeper truck to succeed. A little good versus evil out here today. Rules again, Creeper passes any car, that car will be eliminated, meaning that even the winning car can fall prey to the Creeper truck. Camaro, Batmobile, as they race off, green Camaro. Oh, very shiny, bluish, a little purple in there. Uh, Batmobile. And, ooh, Camaro slowing down as we get towards the switch there. Batmobile also having some trouble around the curve, but he will stay ahead by a couple of lengths. Creeper truck nudged between the two. And we'll have our first quarter finalist here. Batman Batmobile. Camaro. And by that, the uh, meaning the original. No uh, soup ups or pink jobs done on it. And this one's doing quite well. Batmobile out by quite a bit. Still done a little bit there when he hit the switch, but uh, still able to stay quite straight. Creeper had trouble through the turn. And the Batmobile. Again, we move on. Batmobiles. Our team doing quite well early on here in the race. Camaro and the Batmobile. This one, the very silver. And uh, coming out pretty strong against the Camaro once again. A few lengths ahead already through the first couple of straights. Good in the hairpins. And here comes the Creeper, way far behind. And well, this Batmobile has all the speed needed. Oh, for a second there, I thought he was going to lose control, but he gains it back right when he needed to. Creeper again, coming in second. Right between the two. Batmobile and the Copo Camaro. Any look from the Camaros here would be nice. Batmobiles have started and ended in the lead ever since race one today. And here comes the Copo Camaro trying to change that script. Well, he does a 180 for seemingly no reason. And he's stuck. Batmobile rams into the front. Now the back and they spin around and the Creeper pushes him across. Take a look at that. He was sideways. Batmobile turns him around once again. Then Creeper's like, well, someone get out of the way. And he puts the Copo right into the quarterfinals. Camaro, Batmobile. Rolling out once again. Camaro, bright red this time. A little bit of a thick white stripe coming down the center. And, ooh, a lack of speed there at the beginning, but fast into the switch. Slows down there again, but it's a close race for both of them. Creeper nudges ahead of both. And this might be the first time that both cars will be out of it. Yes, indeed. And actually, sad for the Camaros, because the Camaros would have won if it wasn't for that creeper in the way. There we go. Very scary text. Both eliminated. Batmobile and the 11 Camaro. <laughs> Spoiler. On the back of the 11 Camaro. Not quite for the Batmobile, who's... Ooh, fast through the first couple of straight, slows down on the switch, and now it's close. 11 Camaro coming out fast in the second half, spins the Batmobile backwards, and the Creeper can't find any control, but the Camaro hung up on the side, and he's nudged across. But he almost stopped dead. He did there for a second. Actually, goes right up on the rail. It was hard to see from the vantage point we had, but you see that wheel stuck. And somehow, he had the luck to get across. The other Batmobile was not ready. Didn't capitalize on that. Justi Lee, uh, Justice League back Batmobile. Wow. Slow down on the name there. And Camaro. Mm. Justice League sporting a very expensive looking gun on the hood. But uh, that doesn't translate into any speed. Maybe turn that thing around and shoot it backwards. But uh, matters for neither of these cars is the Creeper truck. One of the best times ever. This Justice League mobile barely gets across but well futile of that he was eliminated back uh, well halfway to the finish line on the dark night batmobile and the camaro zl1 nice simple model bright color white stripes down the center 
And the Dark Knight Batmobile started behind a couple lengths. Now back in front a couple lengths, but loses it at the switch. Uh, quite a difficult switch for him. And he's now back a lot of lengths. But again, the Creeper truck might put things away for both of them. And yes, he does. That's a tough way to finish, especially if you're the winning car. And you did everything right from the beginning. But you have to be fast between that space between when the switch is hit and when you get to the open track especially if you're the first car to hit the switch because that's when the creeper is going to start moving you have to be fast that's why it's tough on secondary vehicles a little bit easier to run through the switch now, there's no weight on the other end but a lot more distance to cover batmobiles with three camaros with two it's relatively even but we have an odd numbered quarterfinals that's going to mean a buy and a buy for the semifinals as well batmobile and 11 camaro they come out about even from the gate. Batmobile on the near side here looking to try to put another one away. It was really easy for him in the first race. Slows down a little bit after switch and is letting the Camaro back in. He dodges left and right and he keeps the Camaro behind. Camaro trying to nudge on the left side but can't get better than a length behind. And the race will end there but pretty exciting one from the start. Another Batmobile and a Kobo Camaro. Kobo Camaro, remember, last time was the first win, uh, I mean last race, was the first win for the Camaro's team. Started a little bit there on the back wheel, must have nudged into something. They are neck and neck, Batmobile shoots out from the switch, but skids for a second. The Kobo Camaro back on top for a second. T-Bones on the right side, can he nudge past? It's hard to tell who won. The studs sticking out on the back of the Batmobile, the wings might have been enough for the Batmobile to win and I think they were they were enough and that's gonna do it for the Copo Camaro who looked like he was going to be present in the semifinals and even the finals that leaves only three Batmobiles so we can congratulate Batman and friends on a team win but who can we congratulate on the single win both of them being Batmobiles and running up against each other. Remember that bright blue one from the first race. Not necessarily the fastest vehicle either, just had a good finish. And I think we know exactly where this one's going at this point. Ooh, the other Batmobile way out in front. He goes sideways for a second, but the Creeper was not fast through that moment. And we'll have to struggle with the dark blue mobile. And he couldn't get around. He hits a lot of open space there on the right side to push past and just couldn't find the time. Silver Batmobile being the one to free pass. And we have the finals. Looking at the rules again, it'll be the first to win two races. A little bit of consistency required. Uh, but that's normal for a finals. These two cars seem to be quite even. They actually look almost exactly the same except for the color. And I'm sure it's going to be tough for either of them to lose this race, especially since they're going up against someone so similar. Right now, the blue Batmobile able to hold through on the right side, but not enough time for the silver. Creeper will run into both of them there at the end, and I don't think he's going to win any here in the finals. And they set him off again. Blue in the lead by one point, only needs one more race to win. Silver could put this to a third race if he ties it here. Blue slows down on the transfer. And now it's going to be easy for Silver if he can stay straight, and that he will. And it's all on that transfer. Have to stay fast through the switch. It will be hard to take the win from there. Ooh, look at the Silver Batmobile just stuttering right now, right through the laps. Look at he's vibrating out there on the track, but holding the lead. Slows down through the switch, and they're about even, but Blue goes backwards for a second. Creeper has no help, but look at the Silver backwards as well, and they're all over each other. Wheels on top of the hood, but the Silver is pushed across by the Creeper, who's had about enough of all of this drama. And then look at the other vantage point. We saw the Silver actually go up there on the rails for a second, and Blue just could not push past the hood. And it will be the Silver Batmobile. So win it for himself and for the Batman team over the Camaros. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.